been a harrowing week. In a typical day, how many overdoses do you all usually get called for? Three, maybe five. What does that number look like this week? We've had, I think we're up to 73 um, across the three days. A more than 1,000% spike in overdose calls, likely caused by drugs laced with fentanyl, unbeknownst to users, Austin officials say. Confirming at least nine people have died of suspected overdoses since Monday, amid a flood of hospitalizations and 911 calls. This morning it's been like eight, it's been like 15 people have been, that's been, I guess they smoked something that was bad. Two children in the car, I can't get into the front seat, the mother is passed out. Do you need a Narcan kit? Paramedics protectively handing out more than 400 doses of Narcan in just 48 hours, which can reverse an overdose before it's too late. The DEA says fentanyl is now the leading cause of death for young Americans. And my girl, baby, she died. She died of an overdose. Oh, no. Uh, that fentanyl. Those on the front lines in Austin worry outbreaks like this could be the next wave of the crisis. My fear is that it's just the start. That what's next? The fear that it becomes just unmanageable. Right. The fear that we have no ambulances left and that we still have overdoses occurring. It's happened on Monday where you would go and it's not one person, it's four people, right? What happens if it's 10 people? Priscilla Thompson, NBC News, Austin. We will take a break.